Um, hello guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to debug a JavaScript program in Microsoft Edge. So here we have an example, um, it's a Microsoft example page where we can test our debugging. So here we have a simple sum calculator, 1 plus 1 and the result is 11. As you might know this is wrong because 1 plus 1 is 2 and if we write 1 plus 2 it will be 12 because this is wrong and some of you might know what is the reason but for that we need to inspect and go to the developer options then we go to the source and in the source we go to global listeners oh sorry um, let me okay here even listener breakpoints so in here uh, we have a, a list of events and we need to go to the mouse and check the click because uh, the event is a click on the bottom if we have another event we need to check that that other, that other event but right now we only going to debug the click event so <clears throat> once we did that I'm gonna click the button and I'm gonna receive this message so pause in debugger uh, in the source in this panel uh, is highlighted this line that's because the actual code stop at this line um, it's time for us to debug this um, the options you need to know are these these four right especially these two ones the first two ones this arrow like jumping is to go to the next function that are in the code uh, and this arrow like pointing down is to deep inside the function for example uh, if here input are empty I just jump it will go to this right because it's jumping to a, a, another function but if I do let me reset okay but if I do this bottom to deep inside the function in this case is inputs are empty function so it got me to this part where this get executed if I jump this this operation this is another function if I jump this operation it will get me to this because it's the next line right but for example let me reset let me jump oh sorry let me reset and let me dip so if we are deep more we are going to dip inside get number one so in get number one it got me to this function if I continue I got to get number two and I got to see the get number two function right so with this I'm digging inside functions but with this fun with this bottom I just jump them I jump what I don't need to see right so with this uh, I just don't need don't need this just need the the other things so let me restart this and click again okay if we know that this is working fine we're going we aren't going to to edit that so we are going to this directly so let's jump uh, as you might as you can see uh, we jump to the line 21 and here because we want to dig in here because we know or we have the sense that maybe the error is here we go to the dig option or dig bottom 
and we dig inside the update level function and here is all of this we can dig again to get the number right and dig again in add to to get the number but in this case I'm gonna just jump and jump and we get to this and as you can see uh, here uh, we have sum we have the bar sum equals rn1 plus rn2 and here in the scope panel we can see the values the actual values we can see that added to Adam 1 is 1 in a string and Adam 2 is 2 in a string and some actually is undefined so we got to the net and the net is level that's content equals to Adam 1 plus space and the plus sign and add in 2 and the equal and the sum we can see here that add in the 1 equals to 1 string add in the 2 equals to 2 in a string and sum equals to 12 so right now this, this is this is the problem so I'm gonna try another thing another useful thing that is just clicking here and in watch I'm gonna add a watch a watch is maybe something you want to see in every line to check that so for example I want to see the type of sum uh, right now it's undefined if I jump undefined if I jump or I dig in on the fine on the fine we are not in the sum variable yet but in the next line we'll, we will be in the sum variable so jump also right I dig in okay so right now once we have once we pass the line 33 we can see that type of sum is string so we can see the problem right now because it's a string type and that's not correct so we can just fix that in in here in the function we parse int parse int and close the parentheses and parse int and again close the parentheses so I'm gonna do control s I'm gonna check again and right now if we if we just go and jump okay and go to the sum Oh. Okay. Let me run again. <laughs> okay, jump, jump, D, um, jump, jump. Okay, here. A uh, type of sound undefined and in the next line it will be number so right now we have fits at this as we can see if we close the debugger 1 plus 4 for example is 5 so <clears throat> that's all um, the useful things about this uh, the ones I need you to remember are these three buttons the scope where you can see um, where you can see um, the values and the watch because in here you can execute a command and you can see the the result of the command in every line right so with that you can debug easily